My name is Monica Meehan Berg, and I grew up in California. I am the granddaughter of Gene Stratton Porter's daughter, so I'm Gene Stratton Porter's great granddaughter. I've heard she um, spoke her mind, I, which I love. I heard that she wasn't afraid to sort of um, color outside the box and do things her way. She was a woman in the late teens and early 20s that wasn't afraid to wear pants, where it wasn't very appropriate, it wasn't very well thought of for women to uh, wear pants, she didn't care. Um, she sort of uh, tromped through the woods and got her specimens of bugs and uh, my grandmother would tell me stories when I was a little girl about she would go out and find the cocoons of the moths that were about ready to hatch and she would take them and pin them on her pillow so that she could hear them scratching when they came out of their cocoons and she would wake up and photograph them. And I think, okay, well that's a little far outside of the box for me, but uh, alrighty, that's a little, a little out there, but um, I think that she was a woman to be reckoned with and I, I like that about her. I like that that maybe I have a little bit of that. It doesn't bother me. It really doesn't bother me. And she was a trailblazer. She was very, very ecologically conscious even back in the early 1920s. She was very um, uh, against, they wanted to, to drain the Erie Canal, I think I remember at some point and she was really against that. She wanted to leave nature alone, leave it be. She didn't like people come tromping through her yards and you know mowing down her pictures just to get to her and she was kind of a private person at the same time. So even though she was all about the women's movement in the 1920s, she was all about women voting. She was very active in that, which I liked a lot. Um, she was also this person that sort of relished her time alone and kind of relished her privacy. Didn't want it invaded a lot. So she was a naturalist. She was a nature preservist. She was a fisherwoman. She was very politically active. I don't know if you would necessarily put a label of politician, obviously not, but she was very politically active, very knowledgeable in, in um, city politics. Um, and yet she was this shy, you know, when she first started to write her, she started out in magazine articles and um, she wrote on the sly so that her husband didn't find out. She didn't want to embarrass him in case it wasn't well received. And um, so she was sort of a little bit shy there and maybe, I'm not going to say lacked confidence because that's one thing that I've never ever thought that she would lack, would lack confidence, definitely. I don't have so many stories with Jean because of course I didn't know her, but my grandmother, if it was one thing she was going to do, it was going to impart her love of animals. Um, not just to my dad but to me. In the summer she used to love us to go up and you know just embrace the animals and my mother wasn't a wasn't a, a lover of animals for sure but my grandmother made sure that we you know loved animals and respected animals and treated them well and and then in the in the next breath she was she was adorable because she would you know, send us out to, you know, go play with the snakes and, you know, have a have a regular summer, get dirty and all this. And then uh, I was up there one summer and, and she was darling because I don't know where I got the idea, but I decided to, that I should play piano. And my grandmother said, well, I think that's a very good idea. You know, my mother used to play piano, meaning Jean Stratton Porter. And I think that would be a very good idea. And I got home after the week of being up there and 
she must have called one morning because my mother came in and said to me, well, that was your grandmother and she's buying you a piano. Apparently you told her you wanted to play piano, so there's a piano being delivered, um, you know, whenever it was going to be delivered. And I thought, wow, really? And she did, and it was, and I learned. And I think that's, you know, anything for any of the arts. I think that was what, that's what I would think, you know, Jean Stratton Porter embodies sort of, is, is just do it. Do it while you've got the chance to do it. Do it whether, go out and, and farm better or play piano better or fish better, but go out and just do it. Don't be a bystander in life. Participate. And she did participate. There was nothing that she wouldn't do. Here was this woman in the early 1900s tromping through this swamp to get pictures of little tiny eaglets that she knew where their nest was. And she would tromp out there with all this camera equipment just to photograph them. And some of her photographs are mind-blowing. They're so good. They're, I mean, it's just terrific. And I, I think that, to me, that's what she stands for is just participate. Just participate. And that's what I'm kind of here to do, is participate in this extraordinary event with the screening of Laddie and meeting so many Strattons and so many people that I can now say, you're my family. You're, you're where we all came from. So I love that. I love that. I do. I'm honored to have been asked, truthfully. I'm humbled that um, I was asked out here. I'm touched that people would even think to ask us back. I'm, I'm missing my dad because he would be just I think he would be awed by all of this. Yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm grateful to have been included. Really grateful to have been included.